What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. So I'm talking about Scream 6 in this video here again today talking about Jamal Moroni once again because he has uh, opened his mouth once again uh, probably sharing a little bit too much according to some people and what they're interpreting his words mean. This is an exclusive from Screen Rant that came out earlier today but he was talking to Screen Rant again exclusively while discussing I guess a participation in the upcoming movie Gone in the Night and he talked about his character role in Scream 6. Now, already we know that he will be starring in the movie as a cop character, but he's revealed that his character has a surprising connection to Ghostface. This connection that he's revealed has some people now stating that, oh, he's the killer. Some people also now stating that this takes him off of the suspect list completely. So let's just jump right on into it. And I'll talk about what I've seen some people say. So he stated that... I, I see in your background over there and I and can I tell you I just watched Scream 4 and Scream 5 to prepare for my role in Scream 6 and they're great movies. It's so fun. I'm really thrilled to throw down with this great cast. Much of the same lead cast from Scream 2022. They're making another one right away. Thrilled to join up and we're shooting as we speak. Yeah, I play a cop. So finally, they're asking me to play cops here and there. This is one of them. I guess I shouldn't say I guess I shouldn't say that my daughter is one of the victims, but I don't have to describe how or in what way. So that's what draws me into the story is strong family ties. Now, some people instantly jump to the idea is he stating that his character is connected to someone in screen five. I did not get that. He simply stated that his daughter is a victim knowing he's a cop. This seems to be what makes him get involved in investigating the killings. I did not read this and interpret that as him talking about something from the past. I read that as him referring to something of the now, something of a character that we're about to meet going into Scream 6. Not him being the father of Amber, not him being the father of Jill, not him being the father of anyone from the past. I'm not saying they aren't going to do that, but when reading what he said, it seems like he's talking about again more so the now, a character we haven't met, a character we will probably get to meet in the upcoming movie. And it seems like, again, that's what draws him into having an interest in the case because one of his daughters will fall victim to Ghostface. I've seen some people talk about how this could be uh, Liana Liberato. We know she's starring in the movie. She has a role. I've seen how some people say, well, maybe this is her dad and she has a death in the movie, presumably. And that's what sparks him to get involved based off of that. And that's who his daughter is that he's referring to who will be a victim. Now, also being a victim doesn't mean you're necessarily going to die. His daughter could be attacked. And that's what prompts him to, again, become in, become interested in discovering who is behind the mask and who is tormenting New York City. Some people have also stated that they think he could be Wes Hicks dad. I do like that idea. The idea of him being connected to Judy Hicks and exploring the possibility of Judy Hicks not only having a son but having a daughter and maybe there was a relationship and a marriage that she used to have way back before she started flirting with Dewey and they had a falling out. Moroni could have taken their daughter. She kept their son Wes and we learned that throughout the movie somehow that he's from Woodsboro, moved to New York after his split from Judy Hicks. I've seen some people talk about that. Maybe that's how he gets introduced. And we're about to meet yet another child that we didn't know Judy had in Screen 5. And we're about to learn about an ex-husband that she apparently had. Before again, we know she was doing her thing and flirting with Dewey. Uh, in order for that to work, I would say they definitely would have had to have a split around 2010 or so. Maybe something prior to that. Definitely before the events of Screen 4, note for sure. But all in all... I do believe that we will get to see and hear about more details. Of, of course, we're going to learn more details about his daughter going into Scream 6 since he shared to us now that he has a child. I do think, though, that a lot of people and the assumptions they're making, many of them more, more than likely are going to be wrong. Given that he came out and said this, it seems like it was done in a purposeful way to get you to go down the right rabbit hole, but come to the wrong conclusion still because you got mixed up some some way on the way down the rabbit hole. I still think that there's going to be a lot of things that happen on screen that you are not prepared for as it pertains to this daughter that he's revealed. I don't think it's going to be that cut and dry and that simple to figure out that it's just somebody 
somebody from the past like a amber or a kirby or a jill or anything like that more than likely it will be again going off of how he how he was stating his words he's talking about something in the now something that relates to this upcoming killing spree not something from the past i'm not saying he isn't referring to something from the past but the way he stated it doesn't indicate that to me it speaks more so of the now uh and i know a lot of people also heard his words and again they did not go down the path to thinking that this puts him down the list further as far as a potential suspect they've stated that this actually raises his ranking for them because again we've seen jill roberts do this jill roberts has had a family member get caught in the crossfires while also by also presenting herself as someone who's being attacked and stalked by ghostface while all her friends are dying around her and her own mother and she ended up being responsible for the death of her own mother so a lot of people are keeping that in mind when he's revealing these things and they think that he slowly but surely more and more is just throwing out details that he's the killer and this is why i'm the killer because i've lost a daughter they think that that's what he's saying now you'll find out of course in the movie if that's what it is or if it isn't that i again will say that i do not believe it's going to be that cut and dry i do not believe it's going to be that simple i don't believe it'll have anything to do with jill roberts i don't believe it'll have anything to do with kirby reed i don't believe it'll have anything to do with being the father of amber or anything like that it's not a problem if they do that but again going off of how Dermont was wording everything it seems like the ghost face attacks he's referring to are related to the now the upcoming things that happened in Tr scream six that set him off into solving the case and finding out who is ghost face who killed his daughter if their daughter did die or who attacked his daughter if the daughter is just someone who's attacked and makes it out of a makes it out alive and is left with a vengeful father I've also made a comparison with some people talking about this to the fact that it's kind of reminding me if they go down that route, maybe a little bit of Roy from Friday the 13th part five. So I think there's a lot of things here that might be too easy from what he stated that they're going to flip on your head when you see Scream 6. But we'll see who his daughter is when the movie comes out. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you can never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there is any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.